Body Farms are research facilities where scientists study how the human body changes after death. And this might sound odd, maybe even gross, but the research is changing how police investigate crimes and find missing people to prevent the innocent from being charged with murder. And there are only a handful of these body farms across the country, and one is right here in Colorado. Here's Denver 7's Jace Larson. We got this call in 1993. On this steep hillside near Boulder. There was a, a hiker. Who stumbled on something. Quickly realized that it was actually human remains. Of a man. Um, he was found with his head facing downward on the slope. 25 years later, no one has been able to identify him or tell if he died under sinister circumstances. His case has weighed on investigators, so this year they dug up his body and took an offer of help from a university in Florida. A university with a body farm that has a history of solving cold cases. From here in Tampa, at one of the few body farms in the country. Behind me, in all this grass area, we have remains out on the surface. We're talking human bodies, voluntarily donated to science, placed on the ground and below the ground to decompose. It's critical for the research. Learning how fast a body decomposes in different climates helps police determine how long a person has been dead. We're not going to show this body right here mm. because it might be disturbing to some people, but tell us kind of what is over there. Well, what you're looking at is an individual who's already gone through all the stages of decomposition where the tissues um, blow and, and then recede and they change color. Bodies can sit here for weeks or years, sometimes under cages to stop the scavengers, all as scientists document the decomposition. In situations like that... Erin Kimmerly's team at the University of South Florida has learned some valuable lessons when bodies are left in the open. The vultures will completely turn the body 180 degrees, um, separate the arms and legs. It might look like somebody was dumped there in a haphazard way or, or maybe staged even. Her team recently solved a murder case. By using what they learned about how bodies decompose, they created this facial reconstruction image and someone recognized it as Jane Weaver. Turns out her boyfriend shot her and dumped her body. Well, now Aaron is hoping to do the same thing with the man's body who was found here on that hillside in Boulder. After forensic research and taking into account what she's learned from the body farm, this is what Aaron's team believes the unidentified man from Boulder looked like. Had European ancestry, was a little bit older, maybe 30 to uh, 45 years of age. Body farms are not common. There are only seven in the country, but another one of them happens to be in our backyard, just outside Grand Junction. The closest other facility like us is at 660 feet, and that changes the solar radiation, it changes uh, atmospheric pressure. Bodies that decompose in weeks in the hot and humid Florida weather can take years here, and the team has discovered the body may never lose all of its skin. They tend to um, mummify very quickly. She and her research students, along with Cornell University, just made a discovery that has helped pinpoint the season that someone died, even if it's a decade later. Are you ready for why? Well, different maggots appear at different times of the year, and they leave behind a permanent casing before they turn into a fly. The team has been able to analyze those casings. They're actually fairly accurate on how long an individual has been dead in addition to what season. What happens at these facilities is not pleasant, but it is science. We also get a lot of people who think it's really interesting and unusual, and it is unusual. And those who benefit from body farm research say it's worth it when there's hope of identifying a missing person can bring closure to a family. At the end of the day, that's, that's our job and that's why we do this. Fascinating. And there's a lot about this story we couldn't show you on television. So right now we're streaming an extended version on Roku, on Apple TV, and on Amazon Fire. Just look for KMGH in your app store.